Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to install the IIS Internet Information Services on Windows 11 official version. Okay, so now let's get started. First, please, let me open the browser and then I will type in the search box in localhost. Enter and you see here we got the message this site can be read. That means the Internet Information Services still not installed on the Windows PC. Follow me step by step, and then I will guide you how to enable this feature on the Windows 11. Okay, minimize this one, and then you click on Start button. You tie in the feature. We have the turn window features on or off. Click on this one. It will open the window features window. Let me make this one bigger for easier to see. Okay, so take a look into the window features. We have some option related to the Internet Information Services. We have the Internet Information Services folder. Let's click on plug button to show some of the subfolder. We have the FTP server. If you want to work with the FTP server protocol for file transfer, you can enable some feature for this one. And you focus into the web management tool. Let's click on this one. And we have some option to enable the compatibilities for the older version of the IIS 6. Let's click on this one. I will enable this all. And then you take a look into the option for the World Wide Web services. We have some sub option for the application development features. Let's select it's all. And for the common HTTP feature, the same thing I will select is all. For the hell and diagnostic. Yeah, we can enable some of the loading here for the custom loading, HTTP loading, loading to ODBC request monitor and tracing. For the performance feature, you can enable some option here. For the security, the same thing. If you want to work with the basic authentication, window authentication, URL authentication, or other option here, you can enable it all for your IIS server. And for the Internet Information Services, hot a web call. If you want to work with the .NET Core website, you should enable this one here. So take a look into the above option. We have the .NET Framework 3.5. If you still want to work with the older version of the uh, .NET 2.0 and 3.0, you should enable some option here. Yeah. We have the option for 4.8 Advanced Services. Yeah, I will also enable some feature here. All right. So after that, click on the OK button to do some confirmation. Yeah, the system will have to search some of the required files from Internet and then download and install it on the Windows PC for you. It will take some time for the system to download the file from the Internet for you. You have to make sure that your PC will be connected to the Internet to get the download file. Okay, and you see here, the installation has been completed. Let's click on close button to close the window feature installation. And so now, open the browser again, and try to refresh this one. Okay, so now you can see the Internet Information Services web page on the PC. That means for now the IIF service had been installed successfully on the Windows PC here. So let me open the folder and then go to the C drive. You see here, we have the INET pub folder. After we install the IIS successfully on my Windows PC, the Windows system will help me to install the INET pub folder. And in the INET pub folder, we have some other folder here. Focus into the web root folder. And, and here we have the iisstat.html file. This is the default best of the Internet Information Services you can see on my PC here. Okay. All right. So now 
Let's click on the start button and type in the internet information services. You see here, we have the internet information services manager window. Let's click on the help menu about internet information services. Yeah. And you see here, we have the current version of the window, e window 11. And the version of the IIS is so on my PC, E10.0. Okay. All right. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to install or enable the RIS option on the Windows 11. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.